Hey guys, welcome back. So I've just finished watching The Space Babies and The Devil's Called and oh my god, I really enjoyed them. I really like the vibe they're going with now with the Doctor and Ruby in this sort of like chaotic adventure. It's so fun to watch and I really do like the chemistry between the two. I really like that. Talking about the Doctor themselves, he's a lot more laid back than I thought he'd be. I thought he'd be a lot different, but I really like how they're going with this Doctor. I think he's far more enjoyable than I thought he would be, and he's really, I really like the vibe how they've gone with him. I really like what they're doing with him, and Ruby herself, I knew I'd enjoy her. She's, she's a great character as well, I really love her. What I love is also how we're exploring about Ruby. There's some interesting things like the end of the Space Babies where he was doing a scan on her. Reminds me a bit of sort of the Clara vibe of finding out who she was, or when the Doctor was scanning sort of Amy to find if she was pregnant or not. Gives me that sort of vibe which I really enjoy, so I liked how that ended for episode 1. But speaking about episode 1 itself, the Space Babies, it was very enjoyable. I did like the Bogeyman, but there were some things that I was a bit confused on. Like, why exactly the babies wanted the the Bogeyman to survive. I didn't understand that. I get why the Doctor did it, because it was sort of last of his, last of his species and he could sort of relate to that. But I didn't understand why they sort of saved, the why they wanted to save it for the babies as well. But apart from that, I did enjoy the episode. There's not too much to say about that one. It was a sort of typical opener, but again, really enjoyable. I think there was parts where we just hang around with the babies just a bit too much. But I did really enjoy it, actually. It was really a great sort of story as well, and a great way to introduce Ruby and everything. There were certain elements in there which I thought were quite sort of like calling back to like the old days, like when the Dr. Sonic Ruby's phone, it really reminded me of Rose well, on Platform 1. I thought that was really cool. And then what I also like, what they've done with the title sequence as well, they've sort of revamped it, and I do love this improvement. I really like how the sort of logo feels much less flat. It just feels more like how they should do it. So I really like how they've gone with that as well. And then the sort of new shot as well, that was really cool. So I did enjoy that. But the Space Babies, yeah, on the whole, not too much to say, but again, another enjoyable episode. I feel like the Devil's Called was a lot better. My favourite scenes were probably when they went to Destroyed London. I really loved that. And I loved all the references back to the Toy Maker as well and how the sort of maestro was linked to the Toy Maker, sort of like one of their his children. So that was really cool as well. And then the music at the end about the twist and then the kid being there, that could be the next godlike villain they face in the next series, you never know. So I do like how they've done that as well. And also I thought about how it was a bit weird about the the Abbey Road sort of lighting up. But again, like the Doctor said in The Giggle, the Toy Maker's realm is still lingering, so the Maestro's realm is still lingering. That's why all that music happened. So I thought that was a cool link back. But yeah, it was really good, the, the Devil Squad. It was really enjoyable. The bit where he sort of sonicked and then it went silent. That was really cool. There's lots of cool elements in them. But on the whole, both episodes were so enjoyable and I've loved them so much. I didn't actually do a reaction to episode 3 because the way they've done it is now, as soon as the episode ends, it literally goes straight on to the next time trailer instead of like how they used to do it where you get the TUD sequence, get time to pause the episode and then you go on to the next time trailer. But seeing the next time trailer for Boom, it doesn't give too much away. I was sort of hoping for a glimpse of the villain of the episode if there's going to be one. I was hoping some Tyrants and Rutans, but you never know. But yeah, so I was hoping for that. But the, the, the trailer looks really great and how the Doctor is. It just... Yeah, it just looks really great, but on the whole, I've really enjoyed it, and it did exceed my expectations. I would say that I'm really happy with Disney's involvement at the moment, because from going off from what we've had of these two episodes, it's not been too bad. It doesn't. It feels very much like Doctor Who, which I'm really pleased about. I was watching it at one stage, and I thought, you know what, this still feels like Doctor Who, and Disney hasn't done too much to it. So if it continues like this with the Doctor, with Disney's involvement, I really feel like this is still going to be really great. And I really hope this, this sort of series is successful so then we can get more merchandise and everything that people really enjoy Doctor Who again. But it's been really great so far and I'm really looking forward to getting into it. I was very sceptical about two episodes at once, but you know what, I have quite enjoyed watching them back to back. I would sort of like to do it every week, but I'm sort of glad that they're not doing it because you get something to look forward to at the end of every week and it sort of makes the series longer if you did two episodes each week it'd only be last for four weeks whereas this time it's going to last for seven so it's much better like that but i'm really looking forward to seeing the next episodes and this series so far has got off to a great start i wouldn't say it was the perfect series ever but i feel like a lot of problems i had with say the 60th anniversary i feel like they're not there with the shooties doctor and sort of his era so i'm really pleased with that and they've really done a step up so i'm really pleased and i'm really enjoying it as well some of the shots of the tardis itself i like how like the sonic as well it seems to be different color every episode i really like the color of the tardis in the 60s episode i thought that looked absolutely brilliant 
But yeah, it's really cool. And I, yeah, I just love the episodes. I'm just so pleased about them. I'm so hyped about it. And I'm really looking forward to the next episodes as well. But what I'd love to know is what you guys think. Have you enjoyed them? What were your thoughts on them? Did you watch them at midnight or have you just watched them like me? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the Space Babies and the Devil's Court as well. I'm certainly looking forward to Boom next week written by Stephen Moffat and I cannot wait to see how it turns out. But again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully see you in my next video soon. Thank you all for watching and take care.